Okay, this is a quintessential closed process problem. H here we have a gas which is being compressed uh, in a reversible and adiabatic manner. If you remember what these two conditions imply, that's isentropic. Anyways, so the gas is very rapidly compressed. That's what really makes it adiabatic. Very quickly, it's compressed to one-tenth of its original volume. We have to find the boundary work involved and the entropy generation, etc. We have solved exactly the same problem in, in chapter three, the material model modules. If you go there and look at the under the PG model, you'll find we solved an identical problem where the question was find the final temperature, final pressure, etc. So we will use those numbers that we already calculated in solving this particular problem. So let's first set up the problem, uh, which is what we know about state one and state two. Uh, and if we list them, state one, what is given to us are pressure, 100 kPa, temperature, and we calculated in the last problem that I just mentioned, the specific volume uh, mass was found to be so many kg. So this was given, this was given, and we calculated using the ideal gas equation of state. And state two, what was given was the volume was one tenth, V2 was equal V1 over 10. Of course, mass remains the same. And in the, in the other problem, entropy was constant, was given to be a constant. But in this particular problem, we can prove that entropy remains constant. Notice what is given to us is that no friction and no heat transfer. So therefore, if we use the entropy equation for, the, for a closed process, notice it's a closed process problem. Why? The system is closed, obviously, because there is no mass going or out around the boundary. And it's a process because it goes from a B state to a final state. If you notice how the system behaves, in the beginning it is a certain state and finally it goes to another state and that's a closed process. So the equation for a closed process is delta S is Q over TV plus S gen. How do I know that? If you go to test a website property tables and go to the formula sheet which is uh, table J you can find governing equation these are the most general mass energy entropy equation and they have been customized for different kind of systems and this is where we have a closed process uh, system, you know equations and you can see the equation for entropy delta s equals q over tv plus s gen can be picked up right from here. Anyway, so let's go back and prove that if there is no friction, this is zero because entropy generation inside the system is a measure of, so this is being applied to the gas as the gas goes from state one to state two or B state to final state. And no friction means no as gen equals zero and no heat transfer means Q equals zero. So as you can see, delta S, S2 minus S1 equals zero, which means entropy equals constant. Both total entropy and because mass doesn't change, small s is also a constant, right? Which is capital S divided by M. So therefore, we can use S2 equals S1, uh, and use isentropic relationship again that's given in table J and as I said we have solved this problem to show we found P2 to be something like 2512 kPa we found T2 to be something like 
754 Kelvin. So in this particular problem, we are seeking the boundary work transfer, WB. So if we write the energy equation for this system, for a closed process is delta E equals Q minus W external. Well, actually it's delta E equals Q minus W external. And if we neglect KE and PE, obviously we can do so because you know, the gas doesn't have much PE to begin with and there's no kinetic energy, the, the, the gas is not moving around. So therefore, and it's adiabatic, so the boundary work W external is on basically minus delta U. What is external work? We call this shaft electrical and boundary work. There is no shaft work, there is no electrical work. You you look at the boundary and you can see that. And therefore, WB equals the boundary work is nothing but minus delta U, which we calculated in the last problem to be 379 kilojoules. So the answer is minus 379 kilojoule. In, 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 the, in the light of PG model, our interest was how to find a property difference, delta U. But now, in this problem we show, if you know how to find property differences, how that is useful in calculating a practical problem. So as you can see, WB negative 379 means work is going into the system, and therefore, as you can understand, the work going in is negative when hip. The sign convention tells you that.